Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host Leandro Mada and in this video we're going to talk about the structures that we can use on the software. So let's go to the presentation. So here what we can see is an example how to use it, the structures, how to define a structure, how to use it in our software. So if we take a look over here, we can see that the structure once we add it into the software is a type of uh, DUT, data unit type. Okay, and just put this and there we go. So the structure is one of the types that we have for in the software for the element DUT. Okay, and it's a good practice to use a structure so we can organize the variables in our system. Here you can see an example. Imagine that you are working with a motor, okay? And in the motor you have different parameters, as you can see over here. This is how you can define all the parameters, okay? But if you, for example, need to add another motor, in this case is motor one, okay, you need to add a second one, you will need to replicate this and change all the zero ones for zero two and so on or change the complete system and this it can take more time so if you use an structure okay over here you can define all these elements just for a generic motor okay with the structure st motor okay and then once you define this structure you just need to create a variable with the type of the structure that you can see over here this one is used here. So if I need to add another motor, we just create a new variable, this type and all these variables, okay, are, are already inside this variable. You can see here how it can be used, okay, without using the structure, you just need to add all this, okay, and if you're using the structure, it's much simple because you just define the element that you have and then the action or the variable inside the element. So if you are looking for more efficiency in how you program, okay, the structure is a good way. So continue with this, we need to know how we can add a structure. So we just need to be in the application tree in our system, right click on the controller, add object and select the DUT. Okay, because I mentioned before that the structure is a uh, type of the DUT. So once you select the DUT, you just need to select the structure. There is another option over here, extend, that we're going to cover that later. So once you edit the structure in your code, by default, here, the type will appear the name that you have already defined. So this is the variable that you will need to use later. Here, between the struct and end of the struct, it's going to be the declaration of all your variables that you can see over here. Struct, struct. And here you can add all the variables that you want for your specific structure. So, once you have defined it, you just need to use creating a variable, okay, and assign that name of the structure you have created over there. Then, if you want to use the variable in your code, we just need to start. We could be a GBL, okay, dot the variable that you have already created, okay, on dot again, and then you will see the complete list of the variable that you have. Okay, so that's basically how you can use the structures on the on the software. Define the DUT as a struct and then create all the variables. And it's much easier to create just a new structure than that create individual variable for all of them. So if we continue with this, what we're going to do now is to create a structure with these elements on the software. So let's open the application here. We are in the application tree. Just resize this. We are in the application tree. Right click, add object DUT. 
here which are defined as the motor the structure we're going to cover that later structure here we just need to define the variables let me just go back here so we're going to use enable we have already seen before how to declare variables run boolean stop pull fault pull then set point uh, digger set point int and indication for actual speed this is just an idea it's not mandatory to do it in this way so here we have defined all the variables that we want to use okay so what we can do is to compile this okay no errors so i'm going to create a gbl okay this already created going to add a variable so for example it will be uh, the structure motor 01 okay and now the data type i need to use the st motor okay so in this case every if we call this variable in the PU, we should be able to access to all these different variables inside and if you go to initialization, you can see that all the variables are inside. So if we want to initialize this in a different way, you can have it uh, like this. Okay. Initialization. Okay. And if we go to textual, you should be able to see the definition. So now, if we select, for example, a POU, let's create another one let's copy and paste through a mode for example i want to set the velocity to uh, like this then what you need to do is to select gbl dot the variable st motor 01 i have already configured oops selected then the dot and you should be able to access to all the variables inside set point okay and if you want to for example use the other way around if you want to move the value for example the actual speed gbl st motor dot actual speed to another variable you just need to move it e motor I create a variable in this case and that's it so this is the, the other way to um how you can use the variable structure in your code okay now what we're going to do is to see the other property which is the extend over here so if we continue go back to here uh, ta -ta -ta, we need to add a new one called extend okay and we add these two variables Okay, so uh, if we open the application once again, here, do, 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 do. just go over here. Okay, good. So let's create another PU, uh, DUT. Here I'm going to call it ST Motor. Oops, ST Motor advance extend and here i need to call the st motor so application st motor and add now here i don't need there is no need to add all these variables okay i just need to add the new ones that i want and the new ones that i want are just change this to here are the actual power and actual current so 
a actual power integer a actual virtual current that's it so now if we compile this okay we can create another variable let's just go back here imagine that i have st motor 02 instead of selecting the previous one st motor i'm going to select this one the advanced so here st motor advanced so now let's use this st motor 02 variable in our code so i'm going to copy all this part again so gbl dot st motor 02 dot and you can see here i have the previous ones and the new ones so that's the aim for this for the stands so if you use the stand you will need to link the previous one or another one so when you use you see the actual structure and the previous structure in the variable okay so this is how you can use the structs the structures on the ecosuction machine expert as you saw it's very simple it's no magic over here so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one